Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a USB Windows 10 installer on Linux. It's actually a lot easier than some might think because, you know, back in the old days with Windows on Linux, you had to use specialized programs to format it a certain way, to copy the files in a certain way, and Nowadays, because Windows 10 uses modern stuff like UEFI and Secure Boot, as long as you're using UEFI, so the modern boot method, not legacy, you can pretty much just copy the files over. And the first thing you got to do is you got to download Windows 10. Now, Windows 10 is given away for free by Microsoft. They don't give you the key. You have to purchase it, but you can install the OS for free. So uh, the link is in the description, but head over to this download page, once you get there, you need to select an edition. And uh, the only edition that's available here is Windows 10, so you click Confirm. It's going to validate your request. You need to select your product language. I speak English, so I'm going to select English. I click Confirm. It's going to validate my request, and it's going to give me a download option. Now from here, I just click the download button, and it's going to download Windows 10 to my computer. Now, once the download is complete, we need to move on to formatting the USB flash drive, and to do that you need to install the Gparted Partition Editor. Now, I've already got that installed, but information on how to get that working is in the description. So, once that's open, you need to locate your flash drive. Now, my flash drive is dev slash SDE. It's an SD card and an SD card reader, but it works just like a flash drive. It's pretty cool. So from here you need to select Format 2 and select FAT32 and uh, click the Apply button and it will go ahead and format the partition to the required format that we need, which is FAT32. Once that's done, you can go ahead and close that and then you just need to mount it. Now to mount it, you can do it in many different ways and uh, I'm going to do it through the file manager and as you can see, Right here, we see it's mounted here. And if I open up a terminal window, you can see that my flash drive is mounted right here. So from here, we need to mount the SD card, or excuse me, we need to mount the Windows 10 ISO file as a mount in the mount folder. Well, now what this means is is an ISO file. So if we go into CD downloads, we can see the ISO file is right here. Now we need to make this mounted so we can copy this command here. Mount o loop, enter the password. And it's going to mount it as read only, but if we clear this out of the way, we can see it should be mounted in MNT. Now all of the Windows stuff is in the MNT folder. Now what we need to do is we need to open up the file manager once again. Now this is going to be different depending on your desktop environment, but just open up your file manager and you just need to go to file system. So this is the root folder here. Find the MNT folder. Now this is the contents of the Windows 10 ISO file. So everything that is inside of this file here, if we open up the, uh, open it with ARC, you can see it's actually kind of hidden. Never mind. That's a bad, <laughs> bad idea. But you get the idea, like everything inside of that ISO file is mounted here. So what we can do is we can just click copy and then we can go to the SD card, paste that into the SD card. And I'm saying SD card a lot because that's my USB, but just know that your USB flash drive, you can, you can use an SD card reader like I do, but you can also use a USB flash drive, but you just need to copy it to that USB device, all of the files, and it, and it will take a while because this is a lot of stuff and it's going over USB. But uh, these files will allow you to create a Windows 10 bootable. And once this is all done, you can just plop that into any computer that you need to install Windows on and boot it from USB through your BIOS and it will install Windows 10. There's nothing else that you need to do as so long as it's booted in to uh, boot it from USB. That's all you got to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.